the grand ongoing saga that is the British royal family, a new chapter unfolds with Prince Harry as its star. This tale has it all, a courtroom drama, a dash of tabloid spice, and a protagonist who emerges victorious against the notorious antics of the press. The antagonist in the story? The Mirror Group, known for their less than ethical news gathering techniques. The story unfurls as Prince Harry, through his legal mouthpiece David Sherborne, lambasts the Mirror's underhanded methods. And the pièce de résistance? A spotlight cast on Piers Morgan, the erstwhile editor with a penchant for melodrama. Prince Harry's triumph, a tidy sum of £400,000 as an appetizer to the settlement feast, marks a significant moment in his crusade for justice against media malpractice. This victory, however, seems to have ruffled quite a few feathers, leading to what can only be described as a tantrum of epic proportions. This is a significant victory in Prince Harry's crusade against media malpractice. Adding to the drama, we have Piers Morgan, a former editor known for his melodramatic flair. Let's take a moment to delve into the irony that is Piers Morgan's reaction to Prince Harry's victory against the Mirror Group. You see, Morgan, in a surprising turn of events, has begun to champion the cause of privacy ethics. Yes, you heard it right. The same Morgan who once reveled in the thrill of tabloid sensationalism is now preaching about the sanctity of personal boundaries. It's akin to a wolf suddenly developing an interest in the welfare of the sheep. The irony is almost too delicious to ignore. But wait, there's more. Not content with merely playing the part of a privacy advocate, Morgan has also decided to serve his audience a heaping portion of paradox. He condemns the invasion of royal privacy on one hand, while on the other, he bemoans Harry's alleged self-invasion of privacy. It's a concept so convoluted, it could give a pretzel a run for its money. And then there's the familial rift between Prince Harry and Prince William, a topic that Morgan seems to relish. He paints a picture of Prince William, harboring such disdain for Harry that he'd rather entertain thoughts of self-harm than contemplate a brotherly reunion. It's a narrative so theatrical, it could easily pass for a soap opera plotline. This is the world of royal reportage, where the line between reality and melodrama is as thin as the paper it's printed on. It's a realm where the likes of Piers Morgan thrive, serving up daily doses of drama with a side of paradoxical irony. In the grand scheme of things, Piers Morgan's antics serve not just as a source of amusement, but also as a stark reminder of the often blurry lines that define the world of media and privacy. As we await the next act in this captivating royal saga, let's take a moment to appreciate the irony of it all. After all, it's not every day that a former tabloid editor becomes a self-appointed guardian of privacy ethics. This latest episode in the royal drama serves not only as a commentary on media intrusion, but also as a source of entertainment. As we delve into the depths of this saga, we find ourselves amused and captivated by the theatrics of one character in particular. Piers Morgan, the self-proclaimed guardian of privacy ethics. His reactions to Prince Harry's triumph, which included an appetizer of 400,000 pounds, were nothing short of a spectacle. Morgan's indignant gymnastics, as he grappled with the irony of his own stance, added a delightful layer of comedy to the proceedings. His outrage, or rather the spectacle of it, became a testament to his unwavering commitment to the art of contradiction. One can't help but chuckle at the image of Morgan, the erstwhile tabloid editor morphing into a defender of privacy ethics. His shift in narrative, akin to a fox preaching about the sanctity of the hen house, was as amusing as it was paradoxical. 
His colorful history with media ethics, or the lack thereof, only served to heighten the entertainment value of his righteous indignation. Moreover, his commentary on the familial rift between Prince Harry and Prince William was nothing short of theatrical. Painting a picture of Prince William harboring such disdain for Harry that hyperbolic fantasies of self-harm seem preferable to a brotherly reunion. Well, it was a performance worthy of an Oscar or perhaps a Razzie. As we look forward to the next act in this compelling saga, we find ourselves speculating on potential twists and turns in this narrative. Will Morgan continue his crusade as the self-appointed guardian of privacy ethics? Will Prince Harry secure more victories against media intrusion? Or will we be treated to a new character entering the fray, adding another layer of complexity to this already enthralling drama? Only time will tell the next twist in this narrative, but rest assured, it will be a spectacle worth watching.